Namaste, I'm Samta Auntie, and today I'm going to tell you a story. Throughout the story, we are going to learn some new Hindi words, and afterwards we'll practice them. So let's get started. This story is called The Owl and the Swan. Ullu or Hans. So Ullu is how we say owl in Hindi, and Hans is swan in Hindi. So this story again is Ullu or Hans. Once upon a time, a Hans, a swan, lived in a Nadi river. And one day, an Ulu arrived at the Nadi. He liked this place so much that he decided to live there. And he found a nice bared tree that he could make his ghar, his home. Nearby, there was a hunts floating in the river. The hunts said, you are very welcome here, but you should know that in the summer, it gets very, very garmi, hot. So you might want to find a different place to live instead of here. The Ulu appreciated the hunts' thoughtful advice, but he loved the place so much that he decided to stay. The hunts was very happy, kush, as he and the Ulu became those friends. Months went on and soon it was summer. And just as the hunts had said, it got very, very garmi, hot. And living there became more and more difficult for the Ulu every day. And one day, Ulu decided that he'd have to leave. There simply wasn't enough kana, food for him there. Ulu thanked Hans for his friendship, invited him to come to his new home, said goodbye, alvida, and flew away. Time went on and Hans felt very udas, sad, and akela, lonely. He missed Ulu. And just then, Hans decided that instead of feeling udas and missing his dost friend, he'd go visit Ulu. And when Ulu saw Hans, he was very, very khush, happy. He welcomed Hans to his ghar, home, and gave Hans delicious kana, food. And later that night, two hunters came and rested against Ulu's beard, tree. The Ulu hooted loudly, and one of the hunters looked up saw Ulu, took out his bow and arrow and shot an arrow right towards Ulu. But Ulu can see very, very well at night and he easily dodged the arrow and moved Hans out of its way as well. If he hadn't, one or both of them might have been struck by the arrow. Hans didn't even see the arrow and with a sigh of relief said, Danyavad Ulu, Thank you, Ulu. If you hadn't been here, I don't know what would have happened. And the next day, Hans said that it's time that I go back to my own ghar, my own home. And Ulu said, I'm so glad you came to visit me. As soon as the summer is over, I will come visit you. And Hans flew away. And when Hans came back to his ghar, he was delighted to see many more chudia, birds, and machili, fish, at the Nadi, river. So Hans was never lonely again. And best of all was that true to his word, after summer, Ulu returned as well. And the Hans and Ulu remained dost friends for the rest of their lives. And that is the story of Ulu or hunts. The end. So now let's practice some of the new Hindi words we heard in the story. We heard ulu, owl, hunts, swan, nadi, river, baird, tree, ghar is house or home, and dost friend. 
garmi hot khana is food udas is sad akela lonely alvida means bye dhanyavad means thank you chidiya is bird machli is fish khush is happy dhanyavad thank you for listening and all the best on your journey to learn hindi